Edwin Schlossberg is something of a modern-day Renaissance man. Scientist, an artist, a poet, an author. But most of all, he's in the business of reinventing museums. Hi, I'm Ed Schlossberg. Um, I am very honored and um, pleased that I've been uh, gotten to be the SEGD fellow for this year. And we've put together a video of the work of me and my office over the last 150 years, which I hope you enjoy. Schlossberg worked with Buckminster Fuller to develop his world game, an ahead of its time simulation that allows a group of people to collaborate. 40 years ago, Ed was asked to do the Brooklyn Children's Museum, and he really was innovative in this idea because he changed the way children's museums were approached by making an experience that was all about learning by doing. ESI designed an experience for Maycomer Farm that invited visitors to explore and learn about the concerns of animals in a fun and positive context. ESI created 68 activities that invite visitors to experience the world from an animal's point of view. Ed envisioned early on the idea of a physical brand experience. For Sony, we created one of the first experiential retail stores at the street level of their New York headquarters. It was complemented by a hands-on technology lab, which let visitors use professional equipment in aspirational roles. For the 2010 World Expo, the Shanghai corporate community asked ESI Design to create an extraordinary experience that would excite the public about Shanghai's future. The DreamCube led visitors on a dynamic, dreamlike journey through the city's past, present, and future. Incubated by ESI Design, the ESC Game Theater is an immersive multiplayer game concept that brings people together to play, socialize, collaborate, and compete like never before. I've never seen an experience that pairs environment and activity as powerfully as the Edward M. Kennedy Institute. Every piece of interactive technology, visual content, and physical design does its part to immerse visitors in the world of the Senate. It's an experience that makes government come alive for every participant. But this experience has kids actually walking out excited to study issues. PNC Tower at PNC Plaza was designed to be the greenest office in the world. The Beacon is a data-driven installation that soars more than 24 feet through the lobby of PNC Tower and tells the real-time story of the building in an ever-changing pattern of light, color, and sound. Terrell Place in Washington, D.C. was a retail complex comprised of three connected components resulting in a disjointed ground floor lobby. ESI transformed the space into one massive, ever-evolving digital canvas, but also creating something truly personal, a motion-sensing experience that tracks you as you flow through the space. eBay Main Street infuses the office with data, interactive media, and dynamic content about the company to bring the story of the online platform into the workplace. With 590 square feet of reactive media displays, ESI Design created the Boston Media Band, a first of its kind digital media band that playfully reacts to passers-by and breaks the boundary between inside and out. As people walk through the lobby of 44 Montgomery Street in San Francisco, they become digital paintbrushes, trailing a colored path across the display. My favorite part of the piece is the magic that happens when two visitors cross paths. The Statue of Liberty Museum uses immersive media and interactive environments to bring the story of the statue to life and create a conversation around what the idea of liberty means. At Warner Media's new Hudson Yards headquarters in New York, an immersive media experience tells a cohesive brand story, creating a sense of identity and community. The showcase is a 65 foot tall digital sculpture suspended in the center of the spiral staircase in the building's glass prep. I've never felt like I was in a creative conversation with him where he didn't just get it. Whenever he works with designers, he doesn't just tell them what to do. He makes sure that their ideas find expression. Ed is a very thoughtful, sensitive, and intuitive person, and that not only comes across in his approach to his work, but also makes him a pleasure to work for. Ed is a true authentic artist. I'm always so inspired when I talk to him about our projects and see how he seems to effortlessly create a relevant beauty in just a few sentences. Ed is a mentor, completely unguarded in sharing his knowledge, his experiences, and his perspectives with not only his team, but with the world. Ed is visually poetic. Ed is enigmatic, thought-provoking, 
interesting, socially aware. Ed is known for wearing black, but I like its colorful socks. Ed is a visionary, sometimes 5, 10, or 20 years ahead of the game. It's like the best kind of weirdo from another dimension. <laughs>